welcome back everybody my name is Jack and this is Endless Legend a game I've been really enjoying I hope you're enjoying this series too we're in the second era and we're just about to get this technology unlocked the mercenary market and allows us to get the mercenary section of and the hero section of the marketplace and it seems to be instant actually I don't have to actually build a, a building for it which is terrific why didn't I do that earlier right I think we're all good to go we gotta go and take out these orcs which are besieging uh, this building here there are two militia I lie there's one militia in it but uh, these guys here will be there in well in two turns the the fight region is quite large so if they get they'll be there in the next turn enough to actually get involved in the fight and thankfully because of the five movement points they can at least go through a couple of forest tiles which actually makes a big difference anyway let's click the next turn button that has been completed and I've never been inside that menu that that's how interesting this is about to be all right Wow, there's a lot of stuff happening here. So, there's 10 orcs, I guess we can buy. Demand, maximum price, 949. Current, minimum, and standards through 16. So it's actually quite, quite low demand. So they're actually quite cheap, these orcs. Uh, we can, oh, look at more stats about them, cool. So this would be a quick way of building up an army. But then it is quite nice, but heroes, this is a lot more interesting. Exclusive to your empire for the next 12 turns. These are way more interesting. Organize my price. I think organize my price, you just, you'd find what the the biggest hero is. And I think that'd be the best one to go for. Just spending a massive amount of money getting a second hero, especially a second army. It's going to have a large uh, upkeep cost, but having two armies with heroes could be awesome. So this is this might take a while, but I think this will be worth having a look through. So we've got a couple of different classes here. Buffs, friends, and debuffs enemies. This is a do damage to adjacent units. So I guess these kind of guys, let's have a look at these guys. Oh, look at him. This is one of the, the troops that those other guys have. Doesn't he look awesome? Uh, he has disease immunity. Oh, it's not in there. Okay, never mind. We've got a ranged unit, which is like the one that we currently have. Oh, look at that beast. Doesn't that look just beautiful in design? That looks really, really cool. Oh, they're from the roving clans. Troops can do, they do damage to distant units. I presume it's from that clan. That's quite cool. So cost, they're all very standard. Man, what are the high costs of these guys? Yeah, like two and a half grand. Jeebus. So here's all their stats. Exclusive units though. This is kind of what I'd be looking at. Oh, look at this beast. Doesn't he look pretty cool? So, from the Draken group. Something like a split personality of the Draken city of Nub Nablus. Unbeknownst to his brethren in the city. My goodness, all these big words. To begin with, he would, he would only watch his face pressed up against the fence while juvenile necrophage fought to the death. The spilling of Persian fluids would west with wet his tongue and he would spasm with blood lust. This is a pretty intense guy. He's got 200 life speed. He's got good attack and damage. Uh, so he is a ranged unit. Is it spell? Yeah, so it's a spelled unit. A spelled unit. <laughs> my goodness me. Fast learner. So he has XP gains. Can heal a friendly unit for health equal to the caster's damage? So you can heal 34. Wow, that'd be pretty cool actually getting a healer into our into our group. What else do we have? Uh, this guy. Uh, another one of the same. But his, this guy's life's massive compared to this one. His is 284. Why is that? He's a bit cheaper as well. There must be some difference between these two. Kind of wish there's a comparison. These things here can be unlocked through that other technology skill, which we get later on. So they've all got the same stats. Do they have different equipment? This is 5200, but when I look at it in here, it says 282. What if that's a bug? From the Ardent Mangers. Oh, no legs. Well, that's kind of weird. 
Lots of life. Actually, let's look at these stats here. So they're all four. These guys, this guy's here is six. So that's that um that awesome creature from before. I'm keen just looking at these these characters. These are pretty cool. And so these would be the same as those ones yet. Uh, we looked at these ones yet? No. Whoa, the cultists. That is weird. And awesome at the same time. Broken wards. Wow, that that's that head shape. They're, they're all leaning back, kind of defiant and okay 200 down to quite low the price though is not that wide surprisingly so a, a chance to do attack the guy down the bottom here is actually quite high uh damage this one in here is actually quite a lot of damage well there's 46 down here uh so that the initiative and defense this guy here actually looks really good he just doesn't have the same amount of life this weird thing in here this guy's pretty 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 funky looking i kind of just want to go for the most expensive one but then again this was a support class and that could be quite useful compared to this one here which is troops do damage to adjacent enemies i presume that's is that uh, what my units get like it's nowhere near as much damage but then this guy here i uh, did have the ability to heal others what about this one here? He has the ability to heal as well. This one says exclusive, but I don't think it's any better. Other than the picture looks awesome. He has an influence boost, an army boost. Okay, so there are some different stats in here. So range, fast learning, heal. So those are the same. He's got fast one, last and slow down. But the bottom two are different. So this guy here has got army boost one. 5 plus attack to the army, attack, defense, initiative, and damage to the army. That's pretty amazing compared to just life to the army. I think we we'll go with this guy here. This, this boost seems pretty awesome. And possibly we can even upgrade it. So there's some class upgrades here. Attack on units. So this is based on his class of support. There's some common traits as we've seen before. And then there's factional traits, which is a bit different because it's a, a dragon. Let's buy this guy out. Can't buy multiple of them. <laughs> so let's buy this one here. It's a lot of money. But we just got a new hero. How neat is that? And we probably should outkit him as well. We've got this pretty cool stuff. So this is plus 12, 6, and 4. This one's just a lot more. Yeah, now he's up to 88. Now we're, now we're having some fun. Let's chuck on some tier 2... It's going to cost some titanium, but we've got it. Improved movement. Bit of money, but he's going to come out just amazing. Academy. So now we've got two of them, which is pretty cool. Let's assign him to another army. Oh, we can't assign him to that one because there's already someone there. But we need to make a new army and then we'll get him out. Awesome. That's really cool. Cool. Oh, that was exciting. What else is happening? These guys are still besieging. You are making a run for it. So they're going to definitely be within that circle now. These centaurs will be done. And once that's done, then we can put the guy into there. But there's any extra units at any of these cities? I don't think there were. I thought there was another group of... Oh, I, I cancelled them. Oh, I do not want to build that watchtower just yet. All right, in turn... Some troops are moving around. Not too much to say, but we can engage these guys in battle. Uh, we've got the... It, it's very high. What we're going to do is we're going to automatically say that. We'll tell them to uh, be offensive. And it instantly goes. We could have spectated it and it would have played it all through. But I think this is just so much quicker. Uh, we barely took any damage and we got some experience as well. So that is beautiful. Uh, other than that... I don't think I can see anything else that is worth dealing with. So it's one turn to complete that watchtown now because it's not being sieged anymore and the fortifications will be building up. Wow, everything actually built that turn. That's ridiculous. So the right of way, went to minimize that. You'll see there's these paths now and look at that. We can get through that whole forest in one turn. That is awesome. Now, who completed it? 
yeah the, the main people so it means this is paved but then it turns into dirt so you can kind of see the difference so that's dirt and that's paved so we've got high movement speed through here now which is amazing oh just getting through that forest is just such a relief the watchtower is done you can see the massive uh, boost to vision around there which is cool what else so the guys that just built the the central part here we can build another spice extractor and possibly we could be selling that stuff for money we could build a watchtower now this is for sea or lake during the summer season but there's no sea or lake and so that kind of seemed to point us building some more guys i don't think that's worth it right now that's just gonna take one turn to build like fine just just build it but it's gonna take one turn yeah, then we, we can, we'll can have them all used up. So, two, zero out of two trade routes. Who can we trade with? Can we not trade with ourselves? Do we have to trade with others? And then, I guess, build the borough. Because it's a while yet. This down here. Uh, the rocky outcrop. So, these are the spice extractors. There's an enchanted forest in the spot. That looks pretty sweet. Which, is this my city center? This is the city center here. So let's put it there. It's not as many tiles, but at least we're surrounding that city center and we'll hopefully get it up to a level two district eventually. Right, next up was the senator. So he's just straight into the second one. And these guys build a watchtower. We could give an empire mint just to get another five because we're going to have a large cost if we build up the second group, second army. It's still just that central spot. But I'm wondering if a watchtower... That's blocked by those mountains there. So that watchtower is kind of... Not the greatest thing. Compared to these guys here, which have some great spot for watchtowers. And I can't really want them to build senators. And that takes two turns to pop. What about these guys? How long does it take them to build it? Three turns. How about we tell him to build a senator. And we'll tell these guys to stop. How about that? Just to make it a bit fairer. Neat. I kind of want to... I wish we could pop out and... Because there's so much more land. Like, there's all this land in here. It could be water. I presume it's going to be land. We could actually look at the status screen and look at expansion. Or population? Oh, we're cranking out there. The military is rising to meet the others. That's good to see. So that's the one we're producing. We'll be producing three in a moment. There's no production for that or that one. 14 turns until that, but we're building lots of influence, which is good. And overall happiness is all right. 55%. 75%, so they're getting a bonus to production and food. Uh, what's the food, actually? You want to leave it on that. And these guys are happy as well. If we could just get the central spot happy. But they're going to be the unhappiest, because they're the ones that are expanding out and... That expansion disapproval. So that spices boost, uh, we're probably going to need a lot of it. Thankfully, when we have those three spots built, we'll be getting tons of it. Have we not checked out those ruins yet? My goodness. That's kind of appalling. That's not the one for the quest, isn't it? I'm pretty sure the other one is... Yeah, it's that one there. My goodness. Okay. So we've got some centaurs here. Let's make them a new army. And then let's go to our hero tab. Nope. Our hero tab. This guy assigned to army. These guys. Alright. Can you go uh, inspect that? There's nothing of interest. Well, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? So that's all building away. And a guy leveled up. But doesn't he look awesome? Gosh, he looks awesome. Oh, I'm really happy with how that guy works. Massive movement as well. Six points of movement. That's terrific. I'm just come up here. We can have a lucky over here. All right, let's end this turn. Actually, there's someone else who can move. These guys. Come stand and look out the side here. Because we've got that road. I'm Oh, winter is here. The spice extractor has been done because it's one turn and now we're going to go into the borough streets. Great. Up to six. And winter is here. So lots and lots of food, lots of vision lost and then um, 
Just everything's just awful. Two to 22 turns, that's quite a while. So food is at a loss. Um, if we go back to this, so it show there's a loss of production on food because it's winter. So maybe it's a time to build. So these guys, eh, they've still got a uh, senator on one more turn. We're losing money now though, because I've deployed the hero and there's a mil military upkeep. So we're gonna have to start building those, that empire mint, uh, possibly, uh, let's put them all on there there. Means it'll be built in one turn. Get some more money making places uh, there is a... There's no river down there. There's river here that we could exploit. Oh, there's river here, actually, that we could exploit. Uh, and that would give us a large money boost if we also built the dust dredger. Okay. Other than that, let's end this turn. The centaur's done. We've got one more centaur to go, and we also need this research to be finished. That's seven turns away. That's actually quite a long time. Could we speed things up? Makes it five turns. Makes it four turns. Even better. Armies. It's unlikely for armies to come attack us. I feel like sending this guy back to the... Oh, we're still locked for three more turns. Back in the academy didn't cost anything. There's kind of an advantage to that. Alright, Spice Boosters have ended, let's just re, re put that one on because we're making three, uh, three at a time, which is great. If an army was going to attack now, they would be keen. I highly doubt that they will. Last Centaur's on the way. Empire Mint, that was quick. these tiles not too much in the terms of money it's only take four turns though oh, I can't build it on there I have to build it on that one because there's the ruins but then I could expand out here hopefully and get some more of these tiles I really need money. Could build a watchtower. Yeah, let's build a bar out there. Then get the dust dredger. Uh, my units. You're fine where you are. End the turn. Let's turn off all those markers because there's a lot of you. Wow, that was a quick winter. Summer's returned. Amazing. That was really quick. Kind of terrifying as well. <laughs> it's already over. So let's merge these guys together. So he needs to start making his way. Oh, because that's where the other center is. Yeah. And he needs two ranged units with him actually as well. So I'll just move them in from the other army. Quite a lot of titanium is building up and glass steel is building up as well. We're back to plus seven actually on the money, which is quite nice. So this has been worked. None of these tiles are really grabbing me in terms of what we, sh what we should be going for. There's a lot of science down here though. How long is that watchtower going to take the bill? Three turns. That one there be good because I can barely see anything onto that side of the map. Let's just leave it like that for the moment. I'm going to put some people back on food. Just, oh, even on production. Because I've taken them all off that food production just because it is not the time of year anymore. 
And the last item over here. Alright. Cool. Well, I think that's a good place to call it quits. Thanks everyone for watching this episode. I hope you stayed tuned for the next one, and we'll see you later.